Hey everyone, Genome here, uh, coming at you on my uh, secondary account, which is also free to play. And uh, it's time for the Invisible Woman Unlock. Uh, of course, as soon as I started playing, a couple about 150 days ago, I think it was, so a couple months, you know, like three months and a couple days, um, I started farming Sinister Six, like day one that I was able to. So this is the culmination of that. I unlocked Shuri, like her last event or whatever, at five stars, and I'm going to be getting Sue at five stars as well here. And I wanted to show you probably the bare minimums you're going to need to beat this event. So let's go ahead and take you into the fight. And you'll see who I'm going to be using. Now, I could have gotten six stars on this, but they released Swarm <laughs> in the uh, arena store like a month after I started this account or whatever, or maybe two months even. I already had Vulture at five stars, but I stopped Vulture dead because he sucks and decided to work on Swarm instead, so, instead of wasting all those arena credits. So I won't be able to get a six star this time. Same thing with Electro. Uh, I... I just got her too late, you know, so it, it's gonna hold me back a little bit, so I won't be getting a six star, but it's not that big a deal. So anyway, here's gonna be the lineup. Um, yeah, you know, let's just go into it and get it done. All right, and if anything points, or if there's any points to be made, I'll try to make them real quick. Of course, start with the alt. Uh, we wanna try to get Luke Cage down before he throws defense up on everybody. Let's just go ahead and, uh, Offense down everybody. Electro is so much better than the other options. Oh, I hate Iron Fist. <laughs> Look at that nonsense, man. I don't think I'm going to get Luke Cage down in time. So let's see. Don't bother blinding Daredevil, of course. All these options suck. Let's just get heal block out. Sometimes you can't kill them, or you can't block them, so you just go ahead and kill what's around them, so it helps mitigate it somewhat. And we're going to try to punch through that since it's piercing damage. And, uh... Seeing as he has all these buffs there, you're going to use her special. Maybe nuke him down. There we go. So far, so good. Some of these events can be pretty tough, but I don't remember this one being too bad. And seeing as I haven't even got through my berry yet, I'd say that's a pretty good spot. Just start when you have situations like this, start saving up your cooldowns for the next wave. Looks like we get some stronger stuff this time, so let's see how it goes. So they're gonna be using alts every turn. Yeah, I forgot about this. Alright, so <sighs> War Machine might be a priority still, though. I'm not worried about Jessica Jones' alt. There's not a whole lot of uh, debuffs going on. Having to eat Black Widows all the time does kind of suck, but let's just go ahead and try to get War Machine down, because his alt can really wreck our day. Don't bother trying to blind him. His uh, special is undodgeable, so let's go ahead and get Iron Fist now. I guess we're going to try to get the guys around him. Could have got Quake, but really want to get Iron Fist down. Gonna save her special. There we go. There's a stun. Alright. See if the next wave drops out. No, okay, start working on Black Widow. Don't try anything special with her. Let's just go basic. Two I was eating sitting on two stuns there, that sucks. Could have tried blinding her, but I'm going to save it. Alright. And you're not going to land anything on Jessica Jones, so no sense in trying to debuff her. And so far, I'm going to save Green Goblin ult until the end, but this is going extremely well. So let's say anything really untoward happens here. We should be on Easy Street. Okay, nothing too bad here. Punisher is definitely uh, your priority target. It's going offensive down, everyone. Or offense down, everyone, should I say. Hey, barriers back up. Sweet. AOE damage, always be mindful of it, and this fight is over. I'm not gonna waste a whole ult. Ah, let's just kill him. <laughs> I don't want him healing up people any more than they already are, so. Alright, you can put this on auto a while ago. Alright. And there you have it. First time 
there's Invisible Woman. Let's go back and we'll go back and look at the team power real fast. Uh, you could definitely do that a little bit weaker. But I think the Shuri event was a little bit harder, in fact. Uh, so let's go ahead and recruit her now so you can see. But, uh, and there's beautiful Sue Storm, wife of Franklin Richards, one of the most powerful uh, characters in the Marvel Universe. And could have got her six star. I forgot I had four reds on her. That's pretty good. So, yeah, there's the unlock. Good stuff. Good plug and play character. And let's go back real quick to the event. Let's see if it'll let me uh, show where I was. So, for tier five, um, yeah, here's what I had going on. Nothing was above uh, 17K. And you could, oh, sorry, I forgot about Shocker and Electro. Never mind. I forget what I just said. But nothing is really that high, and definitely nothing at 30K. I think you can finish up to tier 7 at around 30K per character, if I recall, on my main account. So, really, a pretty easy one. And you don't have to have any huge uh, investment in the characters. In fact, I definitely recommend doing these as the minimum, especially without Doc Ock, right? Because this team sucks without Doc Ock. So, but go for Swarm instead. And even though these fights may not be the best thing. A swarm made this thing because these go on long enough where he's gonna start killing himself. But Electro for sure, um, and then Swarm for sure over Vulture. I'd say just go get him. Uh, you'll want him because eventually you will have Doc Ock, and then you want the prime the prime team. So yeah. Anyway, that's the unlock for Mrs. Storm. Hopefully this was uh, someone helpful to everyone out there, and uh, best of luck to everyone who is now opening up their legendary protector here. And uh, good fun. Let me get her pulled back up again. Great character. You'll be using her a lot. And, uh, oops. What did I miss? What did I miss her? There she is. All those red stars had me confused there. Yeah, you're using her a lot. And, uh, she's a great plug and play character. And, uh, if you're just starting out, you can basically throw her on any team and you'll be better for it. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed. And until next time, this is Genome out.